Jordan Woodard in the first half, Buddy Heald in the second, helped Oklahoma to a big win at number 13 Baylor on Saturday. I'm Ryan Aber from NewsOK.com here at the Farrell Center, where on Saturday the Sooners beat the Bears 82-72, to and it wasn't as close as the final score indicated. Oklahoma built up a 24-point lead late in the second half before things tightened up with 14 consecutive points by the Bears to finish the game. But the story of this game was Heald and Woodard and the way the Sooners attacked Baylor's zone. In the first half, Buddy Heald had to go to the bench with about 11 minutes uh, 11 minutes into the first half because of his, picked up his second foul. But Jordan Woodard absolutely took over, scoring 15 points in a 21-8 run by the Sooners to close the half and send the Sooners into the locker room up seven in the second half. Heald returned, and he was phenomenal. Uh, scoring 14 of his 19 points after the break. The Sooners found a lot of room to work on the outside against that zone and uh, were able to take advantage by hitting some big threes. 20, the Oklahoma's first 24 field goals uh, were assisted. The Sooners moved the ball well all night, and that helped them bounce back from Monday night's loss at Iowa State. After the game, Sooners coach Lon Kruger and Oklahoma players talked about the win. win you, you feel good about that. Of course, uh, Baylor's uh, leading the league and playing great and uh, uh, proud, of, proud for our guys. I thought they moved the ball well offensively. Uh, uh, very obviously stepped up and made shots, which they've been doing uh, a good job of that. Uh, defensively, fought them, fought them, you know, pretty well. They've got a, a lot of weapons, and it's hard to, to cheat anywhere, uh, you know, to, to help uh, significantly. So guys individually, I thought stepped in there and battled really well. And a lot of guys, and Jordan making shots in the first half, but his second half, I thought Isaiah was terrific uh, throughout. Uh, and Ryan Kadeem, I thought the second half especially stepped up there. And, a little bit more aggressive, so a uh, good road win against a really good uh, Baylor club. You talked about defense. How important was that, that last 10 minutes with Buddy on the bench, the way that y'all forced turnovers and, and took advantage of and to get out in transition? Yeah, you know, obviously, uh, uh, you know, the activity there during that time was huge. I thought, uh, you know, created some offensive opportunities uh, through deflection steals, uh, gave us a little bit of uh, confidence, gave us a little bit of freedom, uh, flow offensively, uh, so it was a really big stretch. Jordan, what was, what was the key for you today? Uh, just trying to focus and, and knock down shots. You know, I feel like we just had to keep the ball moving against the zone. And, you know, like Ryan, Isaiah, and even Kadeem, they just made some good passes. I was just trying to knock down shots. Buddy, you went to the bench, and they right after that, in the first half, they took a 22-16 leader up six. And then Jordan and Isaiah really got going. and, and, and Carried you. How important was was that that stretch? That was, that was really important. Uh, you know, guys step up and make plays. And, uh, you know, respect, you know, <coughs> respect from the team. Like guys like Jordan, Isaiah. You know, uh, they mean the gym a lot. They make a lot of shots. And uh, you know, Jordan was really carrying the whole team. You know, making shots. And uh, I was happy. I mean, Chelly on the bench. I was actually anybody. I was celebrating any, more than anybody on the bench. So I was happy to see them make a lot of shots during that stretch. Mine, you ever had a team come out of jump shooting display like that? That guy's been shooting well. Um, you know, made a lot of shots uh, earlier in the week and, uh, and, and certainly did today. I thought the ball movement was really good. I, I didn't realize the 29 assist, uh, so that's a big number. So anytime you can do that, it uh, means you're moving the ball well and also making shots. So uh, guys like, like you know, they spend a lot of time shooting. They like passing it to each other. That's a good combination. Again, the final here in, in Waco, 82-72, to 72, Oklahoma over the Bears. The Sooners improved to 16-2 overall, 5-2 and two in the Big 12 Conference. And uh, as importantly, the Sooners come out of a tough seven-game stretch to start the conference, it, tied for first place in the league. The Sooners return to action on Tuesday night at 6 p.m. at home against Texas Tech. Once again, I'm Ryan Aber from NewsOK.com. You can check out NewsOK.com every day and every morning in the Oklahoma for the best. OU coverage anyway.